to ESC TV on the road from AHA 2022. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lam, and I am joined by Dr. Wilfred Mullins and Dr. Marco Metra, and we will discuss the Transform HF and Iron Man trials. So first to Dr. Mullins, could you please tell us about the Transform HF trial? Yes. So Transform HF was a U.S. trial to determine whether long-term oral torosamide treatment would be superior to furosemide in reducing all-cause mortality amongst patients included during their hospitalization for heart failure and then followed up ambulatory. The rationality to do the trial, Carolyn, was to see if torosamide would have a better outcome because we feel it has a better bioavailability and also some antifibrotic events. Mm -hmm. The trial demonstrated that torosamide has similar effectiveness compared with furosemide for the primary endpoint of mortality. Bear in mind that with this was 26% after 17 months, again, alluding to the fact that heart failure is really a deadly disease. Also for the secondary endpoint of mortality in all cause hospitalizations, there was no benefit for torosamide. I think the investigators should be congratulated. Why? Because they have done a really pragmatic trial, and this was the largest dietetic trial ever performed to date. It included more than 2,800 patients. It was designed to answer a very important clinical question. The pragmatic design allowed to recruit a lot of diverse people. One third were women, one third were black patients, and a lot of half path patients. In contrast with the positive recently published at 4 trial, which showed that the addition of zetazolamide during acute heart failure actually leads to de more decongestion. This was kind of a neutral trial. However, the pragmatic design did not allow to collect data on the prevalence of decongestion, which is very important because the patients included in the trial had antiprobine P levels of more than 4,000. So I think if we would have known some more insights on diuretic dosing or other guideline diuretic medical therapy, the trial results might have been different. Thank you, Dr. Mullins. Indeed, a very important trial with a definitive answer, although neutral. And I think we still need to pay very close attention to this uh, urgent unmet needs in this high-risk population. So thank you. And over to you, Dr. Metra. Could you tell us about the Iron Man trial? Thank you, Caroline. Iron Man was uh, uh, designed to assess the effects of ferric derisomaltose treatment uh, in uh, uh, on the long-term outcomes of patients with heart failure, a level trico rejection fraction equal or below 45% and iron deficiency. Patients were randomized to uh, iron replation or usual care. And uh, uh, during a median follow-up of 2.7 years, the trial uh, showed a 18% uh, reduction in the primary outcome of cardiovascular death or our failure hospitalization, which uh, uh, was of borderline statistical significance with a p-value of 0 0.070. Uh, similar to a previous trial, Affirm HF, in patients hospitalized for acute heart failure, also in this case, uh, the results reached statistical significance when uh, in a pre-specified COVID-19 sensitivity analysis. Also in uh, uh, Ironman, the reduction in the primary outcome was primarily due to a reduction in our failure hospitalizations, uh, whereas the effects in, uh, on cardiovascular mortality were neutral. And uh, uh, there was also an improvement in quality of life with uh, uh, ferric treatment at four months. And there was a, a reduction in the serious adverse, cardiac adverse events with uh, active treatment with uh, no increase in any uh, adverse events uh, um, compared with uh, usual care. Therefore, I think that uh, Ironman, uh, consistently with uh, previous trials and meta-analysis, shows uh, the potential efficacy of uh, uh, ferric repletion also on the outcome and our failure hospitalizations of our patients. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Indeed, another uh, trial reinforcing the importance of addressing iron deficiency in patients with HEFREF. And I look forward to the trials in HEFPEF. So thank you so much, Dr. Mullins, Dr. Metra, sure. for sharing your insights. And let's look forward to hear more from the EHA in the coming days. Thank you. Thank you.